What's up guys, I'm Dwayne here. Welcome back to the channel. And boy, is Apple moving quickly with iOS 15.4. Today, Apple released iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 4. Now, in this video, of course, we're going to talk about expected release dates because Apple is moving rather quickly, as I mentioned. This one comes in less than a week since beta 3 now we see beta 4 we'll talk about uh, the release candidate which could be released here soon as well apple may be pushing this software here shortly because we're expecting an apple event here as well we'll talk about everything in this video of course including some of the latest changes within the latest beta now for public beta testers this is not out for you just yet by the time you watch this video it could be out or within the next 24 hours after posting this video this will be available for you now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as per usual apple has updated other other platforms we see here that apple today also released mac os 12.3 Developer Beta 4 is now available for the Mac. iOS 15.4 Beta 4, of course, is available for the iPhone. iPadOS 15.4 Developer Beta 4 is now available for iPads. Of course, WatchOS 8.5 Beta 4 is now available for the Apple Watch. And TVOS for Apple TV 15.4 Beta 4 is now available for developers as well now this software aims to bring quite a bit of improvements and changes to the iphone there's also a hidden code within the software that could hint at apple releasing a new tap to pay service where you'll be able to accept payments with credit cards and debit cards directly on your iphone with no additional hardware we could see that debut on apple's upcoming event with ios 15.4 launching at that event as well but before we get to some of those details expect the release dates major features coming to the software in case you haven't been watching let's take a look here quickly at the latest build number and if we take a look at ios 15.4 developer beta 4 build number is 19e 5235a now typically the letter a at the end of the build number signifies that there could be a release here sooner rather than later now i wouldn't be surprised if Apple releases another beta later this week or the RC, which is release candidate today on the 22nd of February, we get beta four. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the RC Friday, the 25th or even the next week on the week of the first of next month. Now, the rumor date for Apple's upcoming event is exactly two weeks from today which gives apple enough time to actually release this software now as i mentioned there's hidden code within the software that's been found that apple could be enabling tap to pay that could be something that apple could be talking about on their rumored march 8th event as two weeks from today as of the filming of this video there's also of course the ability to now unlock your iphone while you wear a mask you can add glasses to that as well there's just so many new features and changes with this software now there's something that's new within iOS 15.4 Beta 4, that is for iPhone 13 models, so the 13 Mini, 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. I did notice that if we go into General, and we go into the About section, and when we scroll to the bottom here, the modem firmware number has been updated. Right there it is, so we got, now we have modem firmware 159.03. This was .00 previous beta so it looks like apple could be working on improving network connection by improving the modem right there as you can see on the latest beta now another change within ios 15.4 is the anti-stocking message that you now see when you set up an air tag now apple has received some quite of a backlash with air tags people are using these to track individuals and that's definitely a crime in many places around the world and apple is going to make that very very clear you now get this prompt when you set up your air tags it tells you here that air tags are specifically to track your items to track an individual is definitely something that's illegal in most places around the world and air tags are designed to provide law enforcement with your apple id your phone number and information if you're using it for the wrong purpose so if you use an air tag you'll now be warned if you're using an air tag for the wrong purpose to track someone you will now be warned that your information apple id phone number and everything Everything associated to that air tag could be provided to law enforcement this is an anti-stocking feature that apple is putting into place in order to combat this particular problem with air tags now this software as i mentioned before could be released as early as march 8th 
but it can also Apple could also wait another week and maybe launch it on March the 14th or on the week of the 14th. The event is rumored for the 8th. Apple has a lot riding on iOS 15.4, one of the biggest updates coming to the iPhone and Face ID devices in general. But that's pretty much it. Apple updated all their platforms. A minor change here to the modem firmware number, of course. Stay tuned for my follow-up video. I'll be digging around the software even more to see if there's anything else I can share with you guys before the official release. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.